Insight Assess is the REMS TA Center's free mobile application for examining the safety, security, accessibility, and emergency preparedness of buildings and grounds. The purpose of conducting site assessments is to capture data on at least an annual basis on the condition of buildings and grounds and potential threats and hazards, as well as identifying areas of improvement on an education agency's campus. Site assessments are best conducted by a multidisciplinary team, so that varying expertise and familiarity with the areas on campus may be incorporated into this work. This team should be composed of administrators, educators, and staff at the education agency, as well as community partners like law enforcement officers, fire officials, and emergency medical services personnel. It is likely that at least some of the members of the site assessment team will also serve on the core planning team for emergency operations plan development. The REMS TA Center is pleased to review some of the most frequently asked questions about features within the Site SS app. 1. How to customize site assessment questions and create a template. 2. How to export and import mobile app files. 3. How to merge assessment files. and 4. Tips for selecting third-party apps to transmit files. In this video, we will discuss two different types of mobile app files. One is a template, which is a customized list of questions that can be used for all future site assessments. This is done so users do not have to manually add their own questions for every site assessment conducted. Another is a site assessment file, which collects answers as you conduct a site assessment. It may represent an in-progress site assessment, or a completed site assessment. All data collected within the app is stored locally on your device and not a cloud. Site Assess does not have a centralized database, which means the REMS TA Center does not have backups of any of your files. The mobile app was designed to be customized by various education agencies across the country. So we are glad to hear that you will be using this feature. We recommend that you accomplish this by creating a Site Assessment Template. Navigate to Assess section. Click Create or Modify a Template. Click Create a New Template. Select K-12 School or School District. Name the template. Click Customize Template. You can then remove questions or entire sections from the template. To delete, select the topic, subtopic, or question and swipe left. A red button with delete and a trash can icon will appear. Click delete and then click confirm delete. You can also add questions or sections to the template one by one or in mass quantity. To add a single piece of information, click Add Topic, Add Subtopic, or Add Question, then complete the field and click Save. To import multiple questions, please conduct the following. Navigate to the main assessment page that shows all topics. Click Import Questions. Download the CSV file template by accessing the Click Here link. Insert your custom questions and or topics and subtopics into the CSV file. This is ideally completed on a computer and transmitted back to the mobile device via a third-party app such as an email app. It is imperative that you follow the format listed in the original CSV file. The topics, subtopics, and questions columns are required for each row. The hazards, threats, and types are optional. Return to the assessment page in the app. Click Import Questions. Click Continue. Select the Update CSV file on your mobile device. Then, confirm that customized information has been added to the template.
When you have customized a template file and are ready to share it with personnel, you will do so via the export feature as a mobile app file. Exporting the mobile app file from SiteAssess allows you to transmit templates and site assessments to other devices or people. It is important that you export this type of file because it's the only one with complete answers that can be imported back into SiteAssess. Templates and site assessment files are exported in different ways, although the file type will look the same. As a reminder, a template is a customized list of questions that can be sent out to team members or education agencies to start their assessment and does not contain any answers. To export a template, please conduct the following. Open Site Assess. Navigate to Assess. Create or modify a template. Select the template you wish to export. A Share Template button will appear at the bottom of the screen. Select Share Template. Select an app to transmit the file, like an email app. Proceed with using the third-party app to transmit the template file, which will be a .rems TA Center file that is only readable in SiteAssess. A site assessment file has answers that can be sent to a fellow team member to merge or continue contributing to. Below are steps to export a mobile application file. Make sure you have selected the proper assessment in the Assess section. Navigate to Share, Export. Ensure at least one topic, for example, Facility Exterior is enabled for sharing. Click Share. Share options will appear. Click Mobile Application File. Select a third-party email app to transmit the file. It is possible to use other apps. Typically, email apps work for mobile app files. Confirm that the email app opens. Confirm that a .rems TA Center file is attached to the email. Add a recipient, in this case yourself. Click Send. Confirm that the email was sent and received. Both the template and site assessment mobile app files can be sent via a third-party app like an email app. The mobile app file was created by the REMS TA Center and can only be accessed in and from the SiteAssess mobile app. You will not be able to open it by clicking on it in your email app. So, do not be alarmed if you receive an error that the file is unreadable. Import the mobile app file into the SiteAssess mobile app via the following steps. It does depend on the operating system you are using, Android or iOS. For Android, first you will need to grant SiteAssess with permission to access files on your device. Open Settings. Select Security and Privacy. Select Permission Manager. Select Files and Media. Scroll to find SiteAssess app. Click to open Files and Media Permission screen. Turn on Allow. Then you can begin importing the file. Open the email. Save the file to your device. Open SiteAssess. Navigate to Share, Import, Browse. Select the file and click Open. Confirm that a pop-up with Import Options appears. Click Import Data Now. Confirm a new file appears. Navigate to the Assess section. Confirm that the file appears on the Template list or Site Assessment list. For iOS, 
open the email. Click on the attached file as if to open it. Select Save to Downloads. Share a file via Save the Files on my iPhone. Site Assess. No Cloud. Click Save. Open Site Assess. Navigate to Share, Import, Browse. Confirm that a file browser appears. Select On My iPhone, Site Assess Folder, No Cloud Folder. Click on the file. Select Import Data Now. Confirm that the message, Data Imported Successfully, appears on the top of the screen. Navigate to the Assess section. Confirm that the file appears on the template list or site assessment list. Since a site assessment is conducted by a multidisciplinary team, there is an ability to merge assessment files into one. This allows team members to conduct portions of the site assessment simultaneously and then combine their data into one file. First, team members will need to export their site assessment to send to the individual that will be responsible for merging. This can be done via a third-party email app. Go back to the export section of this video to review those steps. Then, the recipient should import the .remsta center file to their own device. The import section of this video contains those steps. Then, the recipient should Navigate to Share, Merge. If you are using the downloaded file to merge into another assessment, click Import under Site Assessment to Merge. Select the site assessment file that was just saved to the device. Click Site Assessment under the Main Site Assessment, then select the file or assessment that will receive the merged data. If you are using the recently downloaded file as your main site assessment, you can click Import under Main Site Assessment and select that assessment file. Click Merge. A pop-up of conflict resolution options will appear. Select the option that makes the most sense from the two options below. This depends on whether you want the site assessment to merge to overwrite the main assessment if both have answered the same question. Use data from site assessment to merge. If both assessments have the same question answered, the answer from the site assessment to merge will override the main site assessment and replace that answer after the merge. Keep the main site assessment data. If both assessments have the same question answered, the answer from the main site assessment will remain the same after the merge. A notification that the merge was successful will appear. Click OK. You can repeat these steps for each site assessment file that needs to be merged into the master file. There are a variety of third-party apps that you can use to transmit the file, depending on the export format and size. The REMS TA Center recommends transferring mobile app files via a third-party email app, such as Outlook, Gmail, or Yahoo. Features of this export format include Used to allow multiple team members to contribute to a site assessment. Must be used in consecutive order with one user inputting data at a time. Used to disseminate a customized template. Contains .rems TA Center in the file name and can only be opened within Site Assess. Is not accessible on computers. The REMS TA Center recommends transferring exported Word documents via a third party file storage app, such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Features of this export format include contains images collected in assessment, formatted with graphic design elements, best for reporting and submitting to leadership, insurance companies, and community partners, etc. Accessible and editable on computers, can be a lengthy and large file.
the REMS TA Center recommends transferring exported Excel worksheets via a third-party email app, such as Outlook, Gmail, or Yahoo. Features of this export format include contains data from site assessment, easy to combine and compare data across time and buildings, best for data analysis and program management, accessible and editable on computers, does not include images. If you experience any issues transmitting the file, try another third-party app. The REMS TA Center seeks your feedback to ensure that the Site Assess application is continually enhanced to meet your needs. Access this feedback form via the intro section of your app. There is a button for you to click Share Your Feedback, which will take you to an online form in your web browser. If you have additional questions about Site Assess, please reach out to the REMS TA Center Help Desk at info at remstacenter.org. Please include a screenshot if you experience an issue and provide information on your mobile device, operating system, and app versions. Thank you for learning more about Site Assess. May you feel equipped to conduct a site assessment with this free tool.